What's going on, everyone? I'm Travis Brown with The Eagle. I'm here with tight end Max Wright of the uh, Texas A&M football team as they gear up for that season opener against New Mexico this weekend. First, Max, how's it going, and how excited are you to get things kicked off here? I'm excited. Um, you know, anytime you get to start another season uh, in Kyle Field is, is a great feeling. Um, you know, we're really pumped up. We've had a really good offseason. Um, you know, great fall camp, and we're, uh, we're excited to kick it off this weekend. Yeah, so I think the thing that most people would recognize you for immediately is, is the facial hair. Yeah. Talk to me about the yeah. uh, the evolution of the facial hair as you've gone through your time at, here at A&M and, and uh, what, what went into some of those decisions? So I actually came in and was I was bare-faced, mm -hmm. extremely baby-faced. I wasn't really able to grow any facial hair at all and, and you know, just kind of throughout the years thought, man, like, you know, I wish I could grow a beard, something be cool. You know, we got the strength coach, Coach Red, who's mm -hmm. got that rocking red beard and yeah. everything, and I admired it. Um, but really, from watching Tombstone. Okay. Uh, yeah, old Western movie. Um, Doc Holliday and those guys got those wicked mustaches. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, that, those guys are cool. Yeah. And then wanted to be able to get one of those maybe. And so whenever I was able to grow it, I was like, oh, I'm going to keep it. And so. So you really missed your being like a quarterback and a gunslinger oh, to, yeah. to tie that all in, right? I, I did. Yeah. I did. In another life, you know, I was, I was probably a gunslinger. Well, you do kind of have that, that you embrace that that old school football. You, yeah. you kind of have like the, the neck roll oh, yeah. or the, oh, yeah. the kind of cowboy collar thing. What, yep. uh, I mean, how, how much of that is functionality and how much of that is like, this is this is the kind of gritty tight end look I want to have. <laughs> well, the, the neck roll actually was from, I, whenever I had my neck surgery back my sophomore okay, year, yeah. just kind of like keeping, you know, that aspect. But wore it again another year after the mm -hmm. comeback season because I was like, you know what it is? Kind of like the gritty look. <laughs> yeah. I had some guys there, they, they, I don't know what joke they made. There was an old running back for the 49ers or the Redskins maybe who – they had like played some like train horn whenever he was running. He had a big mm -hmm. neck roll and everything. Big, big white dude, big burly white dude. So it, it was part of the look too. I, yeah. I, I enjoyed kind of being that, you know, and I enjoy still now being that hard nosed kind of veteran guy who plays with a lot of grit. I'll ask one question about the tight ends before we move on a little bit more about you. I mean, it, it, is there a deeper tight end room in, in the country? Because it's a position that, at least for a little while, there kind of went out of vogue. And now, I mean, Y'all are racking in the, the, the tight ends. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think every single guy in that room can play, flat-out play. Um, you know, me, Jake, Theo, um, Platt, Fernando, um, some of the younger guys in that room are really stepping up and getting to where, you know, hey, we, we have depth in the sense of no matter what happens this year, we got a guy in, in the position who can play. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, and all those guys are high-quality, high-character dudes, which is even more exciting for me, too, just getting to see not just the fact that they're great dudes on the field, but also that they're – really solid dudes off the field as well. Sure, so. sure. Uh, so for you, off the field, what are some of your hobbies? What do you like to do when you get away from the uh, the gridiron and the neck rolls? Uh, yeah, the gridiron <laughs> and the neck rolls. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm an outdoorsman. Um, yeah. You know, I, I love doing anything, with, whether it's hunting, fishing. Um, you know, recently I've taken up a little bit of photography. My uh, sister's future husband, uh, they're getting married in October. Uh, he is actually a professional photographer. Okay. Um, so kind of introduced me to that, so I enjoy doing some of that stuff too. Um, you know, I've video games every yeah. now and then, but I love hanging out with my fiance, um, Mallory, shout out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm outdoorsman. I like being outside. I like doing things outside. All right, cool. So well, let's go to the photography first. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikon or Canon? Uh, actually, Sony. Sony, I have a okay. Sony A6400. Okay. Um, yeah, I got introduced to it. It's kind of a good starter up camera. Yeah. Um, and I, I shoot at 18 to 135 on it. F Three point six or something like that. So, yeah, yeah. Is it? Is it? Are you doing the the nature for? What, what are you? What are you shooting? What are so, your favorite things to shoot? I have done a few uh, like family portrait stuff for like my fiance's family mm -hmm. and then also kind of for my family as well. They've gone pretty good. I've done pretty well with them. But I also really enjoy taking pictures of uh, wildlife and stuff. So whenever I'm hunting and stuff, I'll take my big camera. Uh, I have a big camera lens on there. It goes like one hundred to four hundred, mm -hmm. so I can get out and really reach out and touch them. Um, but I, I do. Nature, um, family stuff, portrait stuff, all different types of stuff. Awesome. What, yeah. uh, we'll go to hunting. What's, what's your biggest trophy? What's the, the, I, your, your biggest accomplishment? I actually just, uh, this past spring, uh, after my shoulder surgery, uh, Luke Matthews, shout out. Um, I was in his wedding. I was his best man. And on his bachelor trip, instead of doing like a bachelor trip, we mm -hmm. did like a, like a, like a hunting trip, just like okay. his family and like a couple of his guys. And uh, I shot a kudu. Okay. Uh, and if y'all know, kudu are the big spiral African yeah. uh, animals. And I shot a non-typical, which was really cool. Had one that spiraled up on the right side and the other one hooked back like an odd ad oh, on, wow. on, the, on the left. So it, it was it was pretty cool. That's by far my biggest trophy yet. Hoping to hopefully uh, after this season go and shoot an elk maybe though. That's, that's cool. That's my next big one. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah. You mentioned video games. Yeah. Uh, what's your, what's your go-to? Uh, Call of Duty, but it's kind of falling off for me a little bit. Um, 
trying to think what else. Apex Legends, Rocket League, some other stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a real basic video game. Sometimes I play like some uh, what's that? Uh, oh man, I can't remember what it's called. Um, Elden Ring. So like mm. the really really hard yeah. trying to beat the stupid bosses that are. <laughs> it's like the game is made to not be beatable, but yeah, sometimes that kind of stuff, but mostly it, chill games. Who, uh, I, I know it's it's a broad subject because there's multiple games. Is there a guy on the team that would claim to be like the best video the best, gamer? Okay, so if you ask anybody about like Madden wise, yeah. that you that is the most heated topic for <laughs> like, you'll get guys like, all right, let's run it right now. Like we'll go in the players lounge and we'll play right now for like, we'll do it, like a tournament. And the, the guys do that all the time, but really it's, it's Madden's the big thing. Madden yeah. and UFC, if, okay. if you're talking UFC, UFC, I, I think Jaden Platt's up there, honestly. Okay. He plays it religiously, like okay. 24-7, and he'll challenge anybody. Uh, <laughs> but there are a couple other dudes. Tony Grimes is really good at UFC, too. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a couple guys. But uh, you, We were talking about some of the other guys. Uh, who, who's, who's the biggest uh, jokester, uh, of either the team <laughs> or in the, the tight ends room? In the tight ends room, Fernando Garza. Okay. No no question. Uh, that dude is hilarious. He's a clown. Love him. Yeah. Uh, but he is an absolute jokester. Um, excuse me. But on the team, oh, man, there's quite a few. Uh, I think Fernando, honestly, is up there for on the team. Chase Basantes, oh, really? okay. enough, is hilarious. Dude's a complete goon. Um, absolutely <laughs> love him. Uh, but there's there's quite a few. The thing is, honestly, this year, oh, um, oh man, crap, I feel so bad. Quarterback. Uh, one of the backups. Frick, I should remember his name. I can't remember his name. Um, That's okay. But there's a couple. There's a couple yeah. quarterbacks too. The quarterback room is super funny this year. Uh, the tight end room is super funny this year. The offensive line. I think that's honestly one of my favorite things about the team this year is that it is so much more of like a family than it's been yeah. in the past, and, and we really are bought into each other and, and messing with each other. And that's awesome. Each other, so. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so you, you mentioned you did get engaged over the off season. How uh, how nerve wracking was the day? Uh, <laughs> more than any game, more than any tunnel that I've had to run out of, it, yeah. it's not even close. Um, but it was honestly more exciting nerves than yeah. anything. Um, you know, been dating uh, Mallory since my sophomore year here, mm -hmm. so going on four years. And you know, shout out Texas A&M, love makers. Uh, <laughs> but uh, she's a volleyball player here and, and met, and so you know, just planned it out and, and planned it out with her family, my family. We did it here actually in Kyle Field. Um, so I thought it was, like, that's like the best Aggie way to do anything. Right, right. So didn't Kyle, um, and then had a whole celebration with our family. And her that's family cool. And was stuff, was so. it a surprise? Did, or did she, she figure it out? So I tried to make it as big as, like, that's the thing though. Nowadays, like, it's kind of hard to make it a surprise. You know, mm -hmm. They want their hair done, their nails mm -hmm. done, and then you got to make sure they have a nice dress on. And so mm -hmm. my pitch to her was, hey, you know, we're doing a little photo shoot mm. uh, for uh, grad pictures. Sure, okay. And, and I want you to be in some of my grad photos. Yeah. Because I was some, some of hers, you know, yeah. just like, whether I have my gown on and she has her gown on or we take some nice ones. So I was like, hey, get dressed up. I'll have my gown and stuff. We'll take some, a few pictures in Kyle that's like fun for us mm -hmm. to. Um, and then we'll like go around campus and do some other stuff. Well, I was hoping that she had no idea, but I think once she kind of started piecing together <laughs> that, oh, interesting, okay, you want to take pictures on Kyle, but it's 100 and something degrees outside <laughs> and you want me dressed up really nice. So she's, she's really smart. So she yeah. kind of knew it was coming. But yeah. Yeah, it, it, was, it was really fun. She's a, she was surprised. She cried. It was great. There you go. And you, you she's a former A&M middle blocker with the uh, volleyball team. Who, who's, who's the more competitive? Oh, me, for sure. She yeah. is, yeah, she's, she's awesome. She is, uh, she's always kind of like, oh, okay, like, so cool. In volleyball, she's very competitive. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that's her, her niche, her thing. But outside of that, she is like, all mm -hmm. right, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just the, the best. She's, she's awesome. Well, she balances my competitiveness really well. Nice. And yeah. uh, who, how's your volleyball game? Are y'all going to, you know? Oh, yeah. Hey, we, we play together. Yeah. We'll, some, we'll play some sand together for sure. Um, so sometimes play me in some uh, little pickup games that they play at practice mm -hmm. and stuff. And every now and then I'll get a point on her. And then she'll, <laughs> then she'll turn on her competitiveness and like put eight on me. And she's like, Know your place, and I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's no, awesome. Yeah, yeah, but she, that's uh, awesome. yeah, we we have we have fun playing. Um, and volleyball is my favorite sport to watch now. It's, yeah. it's super awesome to watch. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love doing it with her. Uh, and we'll close out with this: What would uh, be a successful season for the team and for you individually in your mind? Oh man, successful season for the team. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the sky's the limit for this team. To mm -hmm. be honest, I think with the, the talent that we have and with you know the unity and the bought in togetherness that we have in the soccer room, I. I I think a playoff is is where I'd be like, all right, that was a good season for this team because that's mm -hmm. what I think we can do. Um, but obviously, you know, 
everyone hopes for a national championship. You know, mm-hmm. and that's and that's what we want to bring uh, to College Station. Everyone's been wanting one for a long time now, and, and we're due, I think. So, mm-hmm. uh, but then for me personally, you know, I uh, want to stay healthy first off. <laughs> Let's just get that out. Um, but I'm excited to be, to stay healthy. I'm healthy right now, um, and I, I think you know. Any type of season where I start getting recognized as one of the better tight ends in the country, mm-hmm. you know, I think I can easily prove that I'm one of the best blocking tight ends, but I want to show some versatility this year and be seen as not just a hard-nosed guy, but also as a guy who can, you know, you can trust the ball in his hands and he, he can uh, make some plays. Awesome. Max, sure. thank you so much. And uh, the Aggies kick off this Saturday against New Mexico here in Kyle Field. Thank you.